I don't think that we should wait for our government. They may continue for a long time. They may not arrive anywhere. We have to take the situation in hand. We have to make peace. We have to make to organize the peace process with our own practice. You might spend time alone and write a letter to your, to your partner, to your father, or to your son, or to your daughter, if you do have uh, difficulties with him or with her. Give yourself three hours and write a letter, and use loving speech. During the time of writing that letter, you practice looking deeply into the nature, into the situation of your relationship. Why communication has been difficult? Why happiness was not possible? And you can begin like that. My dear son, I know you have suffered a lot during the past many years. I have not been able to help you, but I have made the situation worse. It's not my intention to make you suffer, my son. But maybe because I am not skillful enough. I try to impose my ideas on you. make you suffer. I think that you have made, in the past I thought that you, you made me suffer. My suffering is caused by you. But I know, I now realize that I have been responsible for your own suffering. As a father, I don't want you to suffer. Please help me. Please tell me of my unskillfulness in the past, so that I will not continue to make you suffer, because if you suffer, I will have to suffer too. I need your help, my dear son. You should be a happy couple, father and son. I'm determined to do, to do it. Please help me. Please tell me what is in your heart. I promise to do my best to refrain from saying things or doing things that make you suffer. But you need to help me. I need your help. Otherwise, I will not be possible to do it alone. Write a letter like that. Spend three hours, even one day, to write such a letter. I am sure that after you finish the letter, you feel much, much better in your heart. You become another person. That is what we call love and speech. In the past, every time I suffer, I, I was inclined to punish you, to say things or to do things that make you suffer. I think that uh, that is the way to get a relief, but I was wrong. I realize now that uh, Anything I say or I do that make you suffer, that make me suffer also. I am determined not to do it anymore. But please help me. I have the confidence that after you have finished the letter, which is a process of uh, peace, a process of transformation, you feel much better. 
because peace is in you, understanding and compassion is in you. And now you will become very pleasant, much more pleasant to him or to her. And you can help him or her to transform. A miracle can be obtained in 24 hours. That is the, that, that is the practice of uh, loving speech. It is uh, coupled with, uh, the, with the practice of deep listening, compassionate listening. Compassionate listening is very crucial. If you don't have compassion in you, you cannot listen. Because what the other person say may water the seed of irritation and anger in you, and you lose all your compassion, you are no longer able to listen. And to listen is very important. If you know how to listen for one hour, deeply with compassion, the other person will suffer much, much less. It's very healing, very transforming the practice of, uh, of uh, compassionate listening. That is the practice of Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva, the great uh, being who has the capacity of uh, deep listening. And you have that sit in you. When you listen to someone, you tell yourself that listening like this is to help him or her to suffer less. Because so far, no one has listened to him or to her. No one has been able to listen with compassion. Even the therapist, because the therapist has a lot of, uh, may have a lot of suffering inside of her, inside of him. And although she pretends to listen deeply, but maybe she is listening to herself. If she does not know how to listen to herself, she does not know how to listen to you. And that is why you have to be the therapist. You have to be the bodhisattva and listen to, to your beloved one. And this is possible. First of all, you have to see that that person has suffered a lot. And you have made the situation worse. What you said in the letter is true. You believe in what you have said in the letter. And you want now to listen to her, to him. And you can look at her with compassion. Oh dear, she has suffered quite a lot. Partly of me. And you ask her to tell you what is in, your, in her heart. She may not be able to use loving speech yet. And in her speech, there may be a lot of bitterness, a lot of blaming, a lot of judgment. But if you are a Bodhisattva, you can still continue to listen with compassion. And you can be a Bodhisattva. The Bodhisattva is in you and not outside of you. You say, I listen like this with only one purpose. That's to help the other person to suffer less. That is why even if uh, his speech is full of uh, judgment, bitterness, accusation, I'm still able to listen. The energy of compassion protects you. What the other person say cannot water the seed of irritation and anger anymore because you are able to nourish compassion, to keep compassion alive. And compassion is mindfulness. I listen to him like that with only one purpose, to help him to suffer less. And if you can maintain that awareness alive, you are protected. The seed of irritation and anger in you will not be watered. And you can listen for one hour without being affected by what the other person said. You don't want to correct him or her. Even if her speech, his speech is full of wrong perceptions, wrong accusations, you feel only compassion.